Sitaram. Warm welcome to everyone to this three night satsang. Today is the first night of the satsang on behalf of my father, Padla Rupnarain, my grandfather, Ramde Rupnarain, grandmother, Bisunde Rupnarain, and all family members. We wish to show appreciation for your attendance here tonight. The core focus of the satsang is to start the year on a positive note. As my father, Padla Rupnarain, welcomed his 60th birthday recently, and as a tribute to Bhagwan, it was his wish to give thanks to God for all the blessings he received by his, fam by his family members and himself. My father has worked very hard, and the knowledge he gained came from the scriptures he learned from his parents. My family is deep-rooted in religion and culture, and they have made many contributions to society to foster the teachings of the scriptures. The reason for this is to inspire the youths in society to promote the teachings of Hinduism as their legacy. More so, for each night, their wish is to ensure that the younger generation learn and practice the religion actively and not let it wither. During this devotion tonight, we seek to attain the blessings for all, including the ancestors and departed souls. For tonight's session, I want to welcome Pandit Parasram Maraj, who will officiate today's reading, specially invited guest, the members of the congregation, accompanying musicians and sing singers from the Suran Suranjali group, members of the media houses present. Thank you and Sitaram. Boli Premise Sri Ganesh Bhagavan Ki Jai, Uma Pati Mahadeva Ki Jai. You may stand for Arti Bhaiya, please. Ganesh Baba Arti.
सदानंद स्वामी की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन पुत्र हनुमान की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय सनातन धर्म की जय आप लोग अपना आसन लीजिए फिर हरियाणी बोटी एक बार बोले श्री उमापति महादेव की जय माई डे फ्रेंड्स वे ऑल क्लास फ्रेंड्स क्लोज आइज बाउ हेज हरिओ गाड़ी नंदन गाड़ वर्ण वर्ण श्रृंगाद लंबोदर सिंधु दादिक चंद्र वर्णो मानोड़ो पुरो कर्णलंब विलंब गंड विलस कंते च मुक्ता श्री विघ्नेश्वर विघ्न पंजन करो कुरिया सदा मंगलम गणपत नमः गणपतय नमः गणपतय सलोतेशन स्त्र लोतस्वी तो भगवान श्री गणेश एज वी कमेंट्स सत्संग एंड डिवोशन इन योर मोस्ट पॉफुल डिवाइन नेम May your blessings be upon the Yagya Karta and his beautiful family, his parents and ancestors. May your blessing be upon us all. Hey, Bhagwan Ganapati. Salutations at the lotus feet again and again. Om Bhadram Karne Bheshro Niyam Deva Bhadram Pashe Maksha Biriya Chatra. स्थिरंगुष्टुवागम सस्तनो व्यशेम देवहित यदायु स्वस्ति न इंद्रो वृद्रवा स्वस्ति न पूषा विश्वेदा स्वस्ति न स्ताक्षोरिष्ट ने स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिरदा ओं गणा गणपति हवामहे कवि कवीनापमश्रवस्तम ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मणस्पत आन शृण्वन्नूति सीद साधन ओं श्री महागणपत नम ओ गम गणपत नम ओ गम गणपत नम ओ गम गणपत नम शारदादेवी माताय नम श्रीगुरुदेवाय नम ओ बोलिए प्रेम से श्री गजानंद स्वामी की जय उमापति महादेव की जय भैया लेट एस ब्रिंग अवर थॉट्स टुगेदर एज वी थिंक ऑफ श्री गणेश भगवान द सिंबल ऑफ निर्विघन दैट पावर डज हैज ए एनर्जी टू रिमूव ऑल नेगेटिव्स एंड टू ब्रिंग टू अस ऑल दैट इज पॉजिटिव लेट एस थिंक ऑफ भगवान सीक हिज ब्लेसिंग्स एंड गाइडेंस that our katha may be enlightening to us and may it be able to make us all into better beings we offer praises to you bhagwan be pleased with our prayer om
हे गणेश गिरी जाके नंदन बिघन हरन है तेरा नाम हे दुख भंजन भक्त भय भंजन हे दुख भंजन भक्त भय भंजन तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम हे गणेश गिरी जाके नंदन विघ्न हरन है तेरा नाम हे दुख भंजन भक्त भय भंजन तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम विधि हरि हर गणपति After listening to the Katha of Skand, it is said that Rishi Narad was very much impressed and he wanted to hear more from Brahmaji. And so he put his hands together and he began saying to Brahmaji, as Sri Suji is telling to Saunaka Rishi and the other thousands of Rishis. Om He Ganesha Giri Jake Nandan Tujiko Mera Koti Pranam Tujiko Mera Koti Pranam He Ganesha Giri Jake Nandan Ah, 
से कहा था और कथा सुनाता जा हे गणेश गिरी जाके नंदन विघ्न हरन है तेरा नाम हे दुख भंजन भक्त है भंजन तुझको मेरा को प्रणाम तुझको मेरा को प्रणाम एक गणेश पंच देव में पूजा आप ही ने कथा सुनाया है आप ही ने कथा सुनाया है शिव विवाह में गणपति पूजा बेट पुराण ने गाया है बेट पुराण ने गाया है गिरिजा पुत्र नाम गणेश तो गिरिजा पुत्र नाम गणेश तो कथा में नाथ एक संशय है मन में कृपा कर ज्ञान प्रकाश करो हे गणेश गिरी जाके नंदन विघ्न हरन है तेरा नाम हे दुख भंजन भक्त है भंजन तुझको मेरा को प्रणाम तुझको मेरा को प्रणाम तुझको मेरा को बोलो श्री गजानंद स्वामी की जय सो आफ्टर लिस्टिंग टू द कथा ऑफ स्कंद स्वामी कार्तिक हे इट इज नारद बाबा स्टरिंग टू ब्रह्मा जी हे पिता आपने मुझे गणपति का चरित्र सुनाई तथा वह बताइए कि वे किसके पुत्र है आई वुड लाइक यू टू टेल मी हु इज दिस सन हु इज दिस गणेश जी हु सन इज ही एंड In one of the katha, you have mentioned that Shiv Baba did Ganesh puja. Now, I have also heard in the wedding ceremony of Shiv Ji that he did Ganesh puja, and I have also heard in some place where it was mentioned that he is a son to Shiva and Parvati. So this is a bit confusing for me. Please clarify this. The next thing it is said amongst the panch devatas there is Ganesh ji and which is the Ganesh that we are speaking about here that is is he the one that is amongst the panch devata is he the one that is worshipped by Shiv ji even before in the time of his wedding before he was born to Shiva and Parvati this confuses me so please explain maine kahi बार भी सुना है कि गणपति जी गिरिजा के पुत्र है परंतु इसके विषय में कुछ नहीं जानता शिव के विवाह में आपने कहा कि गणपति का पूजा की गई है और शिव जी ने उन्हें नमस्कार किया मुझे इसका बड़ा संशय है कि दोनों बातें एक साथ कैसे हो सकते हैं हाउ कैन द सेम बी वेन ही इज द संत पार्वती एन शिव and he is honored by shiv ji in his wedding ceremony please explain this to me yes sun kar brahma ji ne muskura kar kaha so brahma ji on hearing this he smiled and then said he ganesh giri ja ke nandan vigna सुनकर ब्रह्मा जी अति प्रसन्नता पाया वो शिव गिरी जाके अन्न चरित्र नारद मुनि को बताने को नारद मुनि को बताने को हे गणेश गिरी जाके नंदन विघ्न हरन है तेरा नाम हे दुख भंजन भक्त भय
श्री गजानंद स्वामी की जय सो हे नाउ इट इज सेड दैट ब्रह्मा जी वॉज वेरी हैप्पी टू हेयर द वर्ड्स ऑफ ऋषि नारद यह सुनकर ब्रह्मा जी ने बोली कि हे नारद तुमने वास्तव ने बहुत अच्छा प्रश्न किया यह आज समथिंग वेरी इंटेलिजेंट हम तुम्हें गणपति की उत्पत्ति तथा उनके पद आदि से अवगत करते हैं आई शल टेल यू अबाउट श्री गणेश जी एंड अबाउट हिज कमिंग गणपति विष्णु आदि के समान प्राचीन देवता है सो दे आर द पंच देवता नाउ पंच कम फ्रॉम दर्ड पांच विच इज फाइव एंड इट इज रिफरिंग टू द फाइव एलिमेंट्स the five elements water in which the presiding deity is lord ganesh you have earth presiding deity is shiv ji you have air presiding deity is surya dev you have space in which the presiding deity is vishnu bhagwan and fire in which the presiding deity is devi ma according to the ganesh puran it is said that if you worship one you gain the blessings of all the five because all these elements synchronize together and they work in harmony so as to give you the desired results and if you worship the five you are also worship any one of the five you are still worshiping shri krishna this is the thing about it that the ganesh puran goes to explain that to tell how they are all synchronizing together the one in all and the all in one so the five main elements these are the five deities and when we are going to do puja the five main elements are honored the first puja is the water puja which is ganesh puja that occupies the greatest part of our body so that is the first puja to be done so actually we are purifying our antakara and our inner self and the elements in our self by the puja that we do in the steps that we make when you are finished with agni puja now we are going to the main puja which you perhaps want to do so you worship gauri and prithvi together the earth and the germinating power of the earth all two are honored together and otherwise if there is no germinating power it is barren without any life so the earth and the germinating power of the earth they are worship together and you have the kalash the symbol of vishnu surya narayan together with navagraha devata and agni devta in which devi ma is the presiding deity so all these five are honored in any puja so if it is said that shiv ji has performed ganesh puja in the wedding ceremony it is honoring the elements in him and also honoring the elements outside of him which is equal to one another so the elements in him as well as the elements that are outside of him is being honored we also do the same in doing puja you honor the elements in yourself on the altar after that is done then you go to your main puja whether it is hanuman puja or surya narayan puja or lakshmi puja or ganapati puja whichever is the main puja that you want to do that is the main deity of the day or of the puja and that is the form that you are now going to honor so the panch devta in this way is being honored hinar jab shiv ji girija ke sath when shiv bhagwan and mother girija they were united in marriage matrimony at that time it is said that tarkasura was creating great amount of trouble and when tarkasura was creating great amount of trouble there had to be some solution when ram came ravan was creating havoc when kans came krishna was creating trouble if ganapati baba have to come somebody had to be making up at somewhere na 
So, Tarkasur was creating great amount of trouble. And so, it is said, He Ganesha Giri Jage Nandan Vigna Haran Hai Tera Naam He Dukha Bhanjan Bhakt Bhai Bhanjan Tujko Mera Koti Pranam Tujko Mera Koti Pranam Dhyan Laga Kar Sun Narad Ji Ganpati Katha Sunate Hai पति कथा सुनाते हैं को दश धन्य माया शिव है भक्ति ज्ञान बढ़ाते हैं भक्ति ज्ञान बढ़ाते हैं हे गणेश गिरी जाके नंदन विघ्न हरण है तेरा नाम हे दुख भंजन भक्त है भंजन तुझको मेरा को पति महादेव की जय सुथार का सुर ही थॉट ऑफ दैट द सन ऑफ शिव एंड देवी विल बी द वन टू डिस्ट्रॉय मी एंड इफ सती हैज बर्न्ड हरसेल्फ इन योग अग्नि ऑलरेडी देन वेर विल द सन ऑफ शिव जी कम फ्रॉम According to the rule, the person who has burnt themselves in yoga agni, they do not come back to the world, but go to Gita now. Passion, anger, and greed are the triple gates that prevent you from getting liberation. When Sati burnt herself in yoga agni, there was anger because she was angry at the attitude of her father. Daksh Prajapati. According to the Shiv Puran, it is said that Daksh Prajapati did great amount of tapasya and begged for Devi to come as his daughter. And she told him, "Any time you disrespect my beloved, that is the last 
and be known as your daughter. So, Daksh Prajapati was very unhappy about Shivji and he did not invite him to the yagna, which he was doing. He was doing the yagna, did not invite Shivji. Although Sati was told several times by Shivji, when someone has not invited you, do not go. Especially if there is a conflict between both of you. And you want to go, you are saying it is your father's yagna, and you want to go, no problem. Take all these gifts and carry and you go. But I will not be going, because I have not been invited there. So Shivji did not attend. When she, Sati observed that there was no place prepared for Shivji in that yagna, and no form of provision was made that in case he would come, he will be accommodated. She became very angry at that. And she gave shrap to all those who attended that yagna. She burned herself in that agni. And in this way, Tarkasur thought, well, she has burned herself in yoga agni, therefore she will not come back to the world. But she left the world with the thought that I must return as the Ardhangini of Shivji. And in the meantime, Raja Himachal was doing tapasya for the want of a daughter like Devi Ma. And Devi had given him the bardan that she will come as his daughter. So in this way, Tarkasur now not expecting that Devi will return as Parvati. And thinking he was the boss now, he will do everything that he wants to do and give the devotees lots of trouble. So he was creating great amount of havoc. So the time had to come for that when one is taking advantage of others, there, was always, there will always be a time when that will come to a close. Every long rope has an end. And in this way, it went on that the deities got together and they went to Shivji. Shivji said, Maharaj, you are coming to... First they went to Brahma, then Brahma sent them to Shivji. And Shivji now seeing the deities have come, he had to bring some answers to them. So, Raja Himachal had got Devi as the daughter, and there now she became united in marriage matrimony with Shivji, and all this katha transpired, and after that took place, then here it is, the devotees came and was seeking the help from Shivji. And what was taking place with Parvati Ma and Shivji was they were listening, they were, they were involved in the Katha of Sri Ram. Because by the Katha of Bhagavan, it helps to take away the problems of our life. By the Katha of Bhagavan, it helps to bring answers to our life and to help us to get some form of solutions in the problems that are there. So Magirija was listening to the Katha, but the Devutas came. And when the Devutas came, this disturbed the conversation the katha that was taking place between Shivji and Parvati. And then the verse says, 
हे गणेश गिरिजा के नंदन विघ्न हरन है तेरा नाम हे दुख भंजन भक्त भय भंजन हे दुख भंजन भक्त भय भंजन तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम तीनों बचन सुन की जय उमापति महादेव की जय पवन पुत्र हनुमान की जय सियावर रामचंद्र की जय सो हियर नाउ व्हेन शिव बाबा सेंट बैक ऑल द देवताज टू देयर रिस्पेक्टिव प्लेस दैट गो बैक क्विकली डू नॉट वरी योर आंसर्स विल कम सून सो द देवताज नाउ विदाउट मीटिंग विद मा पार्वती दे वेंट अवे मा पार्वती बिकेम वेरी एंग्री give shrap to the devtas and she sat down and began to cry it's like you get licks from mummy and instead of you crying she crying because she is so filled with a great amount of love and like the child feel the exam my crying he leave in to go to study next place Ma crying. He come in back home. Ma still crying. He pass the exam. Ma crying. He fail the exam. Ma still crying. She is so filled with love that she cannot express herself only in words. So this is exactly what took place after she gave shrap to the devtas. She herself began to cry. So Shiv Baba noticed that, and what he said, Hey Girija. तुम मुझे इस प्रकार क्यों अप्रसन्न हो वाई आर यू सो अनहैपी विथ मी मेरा कोई अपराध नहीं है डू आई हैव एनी फॉल्ट एट ऑल यदि अनजान में कोई अपराध हो गया हो तो क्षमा करो इफ ऑन ओनली इंग्ली आई हैव मेड एनी एयर प्लीज फॉर गिव मी तुम्हारे बिना मानो हम अंगहीन है विथआउट यू I am as though without limbs. Tum ko sab ki mata ho, you are the mother of all, or tumhare adin se tino log ka kari hai. When you become pleased, O Devi, the world will be happy. But if you are unhappy, the world will be in trouble. What does Raja Manu say in the law books? In any place. Where the mother, the sister, your daughter, your companion is unhappy, no good. No good will be seen and experienced in such a place, because the mother, who is the 
that main factor that is the home of all love when she is unhappy how could you find any joy in life so bina tumhare hum nirbal hai without you i am as though without any strength whatsoever as to ab prasann hokar aur hamare tatha sabke dukh ko dur karo become please and let everybody's difficulty be quenched so now magirija hearing the words of shiv ji brahma ji bole ki he nar shiv ji ke aisa vachan ko sun kar girija bole ki he nar kya aap mere dukh ko nahi jante don't you know my troubles i came as sati in the previous birth there were no children and being in that situation how could i be happy when i have no one to continue the family jab janam jab yah ab yah janm bhi isi prakar beetna chahta hu shall i allow this but to to go like that devtao mere saath chal kiya the devtas has cheated with me yadi put na ho to sansar mein sahasr aishwar dhi par dhikar hai having no one to continue the family it is like being worthless jab gunwan put utpan ho jata hai when a child of noble quality will come to the family then sansar mein the world in this world you gain the blessings or all the great blessings come yah kah kar girija bahut roi so like this ma girija said and she began to cry he ganesh girija ke nandan bighna haran hai tera naam he dukh banjan bhakt bhai banjan tujh ko mera ko sukh naam tujh ko mera ko sukh naam sukh banjan sukh ranjan shiv ji नह 
स्मरण है तेरा नाम हे दुख भंजन भक्त भय भंजन तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम तीनों लोक के कार्य हो गए सभी युक्ति बताते हैं हम विष्णु ब्रह्मा सब बस में गुरु गणपति कहलाते हैं पति कहलाते हैं हे गणेश गिर जाके नंदन विघ्न हरन है तेरा नाम हे दुख भंजन भक्त भय भंजन तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम तुझको मेरा कोटि प्रणाम बोलो श्री शिव भगवान की जय देवी माता की जय गजानंद स्वामी की जय यह कह कर Girija Bhutroi, so saying like this to Shivji that I have lost the first bird without any children. Shall I allow this one too to go without anybody to continue my family? Saying like this, she began to cry. She kept on crying more. Tab Shivji ne Girija ko utha kar aur hridai se lagate huye aur god mein baithaya aur kaha ki he Girija हम तुमसे ऐसा उपाय बताते हैं आई एम टेलिंग टू यू ऑफ सच ए फॉर्मूला जिससे तीनों लोगों के सब कार्य पूर्ण होगी एंड बाय दिस फॉर्मूला यू विल फुलफिल द विश ऑफ और द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द थ्री वर्ल्ड मैं विष्णु तथा ब्रह्मा सब उसके बस में हूँ आई टुगेदर विद विष्णु एंड ब्रह्मा वी ऑल डांस टू हिस ट्यून्स हम उसको अपना गुरु अर्थात गणपति कहते हैं वी नो हिम एज अव गुरु वी नो हिम एज गणपति वह हमारा मुख्य रूप है ही इज अ वेरी सीक्रेट फॉर्म ऑफ माइंड जिसकी सेवा से समस्त दुख दूर होकर और सुख की प्राप्ति होती है और ट्रबल्स गो अवे एंड हैप्पीनेस कम्स तुम एक वर्ष तक उसका व्रत को करो यू मस्ट डू द व्रत ऑफ हिज फॉर वन ईयर तो तुम्हारा मनोरथ सफल हो जाएगा एंड इफ यू शुड डू दैट योर माइंड विश इज शैल बी फुलफिल उनका नाम ही समस्त कष्टों को दूर करने वाला तथा आनंददायक देने वाला है हिज नेम इज सेल्फ हैज ए पावर टू ब्रिंग टू अस ग्रेट अमाउंट ऑफ जॉय एंड हैप्पीनेस एंड कैन बी एबल टू वॉर आउट ऑल ओवर डिफिकल्टीज वह व्रत कृष्ण चौथ की होती है It is in the dark fortnight. Now the month is divided into two parts. The first day after full moon is the begin beginning of the month, and the new moon day marks half the month. The first day after new moon is the second half of the month. Whenever full moon day comes, that's the end of the month. So according to the astrological calendar, there is only one full moon in the month. It doesn't go with 29 and 31 days and come back and forward it has 15 astrological days in the dark night and 15 astrological days in the bright fortnight why did i say astrological days because an, an astrological day is not 24 hours it is either more or less than 24 hours it could you could have two days on one day that is how it is calculated so because of that you have an average of 30 days in the month and in this way you have the chaut which is the fourth astrological day in the dark night that is the day in which the puja of sri ganesh ji is being kept in each month is brat ko rakh kar pavitrata purvak चंद्रमा के उदय होते हुए पूजा करे वेन द मून विड बी कमिंग आउट इन दैट टाइम यू विल डू द पूजा एंड यू गिव द अर्घ इस व्रत को रख कर पवित्रता पूर्वक चंद्र उदय से अर्घ देना वह इस वह व्रत समस्त व्रतों के राजा है इट इज द किंग ऑफ ऑल द व्रत दैट आर देयर ऑफ ऑल द फास्टिंग डेज दैट आर देयर दैट इज लाइक द किंग ऑफ इट जिस प्रकार सब मंत्र प्रणव है जस्ट लाइक हाउ ऑफ ऑल द मंत्रज दट आर देयर ओमकार विच वॉज द वर्ड दैट वॉज इन द बिगिनिंग 
And from that energy of light, from that word came the energy of light. From the energy of light came the being, Vishnu, Brahma, Shankar. And the voice says in Shiv Puran that sometime I come first as Brahma, sometime I come first as Vishnu, sometimes I come first as Shankar. The same voice from the energy of light of Omkar, which was the word, which was in the beginning, came the energy of light. And from that energy of light, all the three beings came. Amongst the system of the body, the mind is the most powerful. Manhi Devata, Manhi Ishwar, Manse Baranakoi. The mind is the God, the mind is the angel, bigger than the mind, there is no other power. Baromi Mata or Puryomi Kashi, amongst the elders, mother is said to be the home of all love and is the greatest form. So in this way, it is said, the breath of Ganeshji is very special. He narrated is prakar shiv girija ko ganesh ji ki mahanta ka varnan karte hue kaha ki he girija kali yug mein raja sesh sen ne is brat ko karke bara anand ko prapt kiya in the age of kali raja sesh sen did this brat and he became very happy raja manu and satrupa did this brat and they were blessed with bhagwan shri ramchand ji Lakshman, Bharat, and Shatrughan. And also, Kadam Rishi did this blood together with his consort, and they were blessed with Bhagwan coming to them as Kapil Dev Muni. And in this, it says, Vashish Muni and his consort also did this blood, and they were blessed with his son by the name of Shakti. In this way, they perform the breath of Shivji, of Ganeshji, and many were able to gain the success of great children in the family. So, here Shivji is telling to Magirija, Tum bhi is breath ko ke prabhav se avashya put ko prapt karegi. You too will be successful in attaining the success of great son in the family. So I ask the group to give me one bhajan and then I'll tell you the next part of this katha.
की जय गजानंद स्वामी की जय सनातन धर्म की जय सो भैया मत गिरिजा लिसन टू द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ द गणेश चौथ व्रत फ्रॉम शिव जी एंड नाउ शी सेज टू हिम हे स्वामी मैं अवश्य ही इस व्रत को करूंगी आई शेल शोली डू दिस व्रत परंतु आप इस व्रत के सब नियम क्रिया आदि विस्तार पूर्वक से वर्णन कीजिए टेल मी द मेथड टू डू दिस प्रॉपरली सो दैट आई मे बी एबल टू डिराइव द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ इट एंड नाउ शिव जी सेज कि हे देवी कृष्ण पक्ष की चतुर्थी को शुद्ध हृदय से प्रातकाल ब्रह्म मुहूर्त में उठकर स्नान कर ए तथा जो कुछ करना उचित है वह सब कर ले सो यू गेट अप इन टाइम विच इज नोन एज ब्रह्म मुहूर्त अप्रोक्सीमेटली फोर्टी एट मिनट्स बिफोर द सनराइज इसके पश्चात आफ्टर दैट व्रत की डिड इच्छा करे यू शुड हैव योर बाथ क्लीन द बॉडी एंड एवरीथिंग एंड देन यू शुड मेक योर संकल्प that i would like to do your brat ganesh baba and you are the one who can be able to understand whatever is in the mind of your devotees you know i would like to do this brat but i would like to do it with only without any errors guide me help me and protect me that i will be able to keep this fast properly and do the brat in the proper manner that you become pleased and you may shower blessings upon me help me that there may be no faults in my fasting in my austerities in my bhakti so in this way he ganesh aaj hum tumhara brat karte hain hamare manurat ko purna karna he ganapati hamara brat bhali prakar se purna ho jaye और हमारे दुख को दूर हो जाए लेट ऑल माई डिफिकल्टीज गो लेट मी बी एबल टू गेन सक्सेस तुम सबको जानते हो यू नो एवरी वन सब फलों के दाता हो यू आर द बेस्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रूट्स वेदों ने तुझको निर्विघ्न कहा गया है द वेदर्स हैव सॉन्ग अबाउट यू एज दन दैट रिमूव ऑल एरर्स इस प्रकार हृदय में संकल्प कर चतुर्थी के दिन गणपति का वार्ता ही में दिन व्यतीत करे इन दिस माना यू कीप अप द एंटायर डे इन फास्ट फॉर श्री गणेश भगवान साम्रत के अनुसार और सूर्य अस्त के समय स्नान कर वेन द सन वुड सेट अगेन यू टेक बाथ स्नान कर पर अपने स्थान पर बैठे तथा कथा पूजा की सब सामग्री को इकट्ठे करे कलेक्ट ऑल द इनग्रीडियंट्स दट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर डूइंग द पूजा फिर गणेश जी का पूजन के लिए अच्छा स्थान तैयार करे एंड यू हैव द प्लेस ऑर्गेनाइज फॉर डूइंग द पूजा जिस जिसते चारों ओर में केले के खंबे लगाए हो इन विच इन द फोर डायरेक्शन द फोर कॉर्नर्स मस्ट बी द बनाना प्लांट्स एंड द टॉलिस वन इन द सेंटर and then you have the kalash the yantra for sri ganesh ji with the eight petals being constructed and you will consecrate the kalash and in doing so jaise samrat ho banaye ho uska shubh sthan par rakh kar kalash tapit kar le so you do the kalsa sthapna इसके पश्चात ध्यान लगाकर और शोर शोकार से पूजन करें यू मेडिटेट ऑन द फॉर्म ऑफ द फॉर्म ऑफ श्री गणेश जी यू ऑफ फ्रूट्स फ्लावर्स चंदन एंड परफ्यूम एंड आरती एंड सो ऑन अच्छी स्तुति करें एंड देन यू सिंग प्रेजेस टू श्री गणेश जी एंड लेट एस जॉइन नाउ इन प्रेज टू श्री गणेश भगवान एज वी आर लिस्निंग टू इज कथा This is the way in which we should do praises to Sri Ganesh ji asking for his blessings. Om gam ganapataye namo nama siddhi vinayak namo nama ashta vinayak namo nama ganapati bappa Shabdi naayak namo nama, ganap.
asking for his blessings but girija you want to get the success of his son so this is a special stoot to ask for the success of his son and if anybody want to get the success of his son you can pray whilst we are also doing this stoot om gam ganapataye namo nama siddhi vinayak namo nama ashtabinayak namo nama ganapati bappa moriya om gam ganapataye namo nama siddhi vinayak namo nama ashtabinayak namo nama ganapati bappa moriya namastu I'm 
अच्छी स्तुति करके प्रेम मग्न हो और उसको प्रणाम करे बी हैप्पी विथ इन योर सेल्फ एंड सलूट द फॉर्म ऑफ श्री गणेश जी मेक द प्रेज लाइक दैट टू हिम एंड सीक हिज ब्लेसिंग तदुपरांत वही पूजा करने वाला ब्राह्मण को खिलाकर और दक्षिणा स्वरूप को चांदी दे नहीं तो अपने साम्रत के अनुसार जो चाहे वह दक्षिणा दे देन The Baba who performs the puja for you, according to what means can afford, you give something as a dakshna or as a gift. Tadu prant swang hi mita bhujan kare. Then you yourself should partake of something without salt. It should be sweet food. Is prakar jo Ganesh ji ka brat karte hai. Those who do the brat like that. उनकी मनोकांक्षा पूर्ण हो जाती है ये माइंड विशेष बिकम फुलफिल हे गिरिजा इसलिए तुम भी इस व्रत को करो जय फो ओ गिरिजा यू मस्ट ऑल्सो डू दिस व्रत बट मा गिरिजा वॉज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड बिकॉज ही सेड समथिंग दैट ट्रबल द माइंड एंड दैट इज वट इफ आई एम डूइंग पूजा टू गणेश जी वाई शुड आई वेट फॉर द मून दिस इज द question that came up here and she says to shiv ji ki he nath aapne ganapati ki vrat mein chandrama ka uday dene ka jo varnan kiya uska mukhya karan kya hai 
What is the reason for us to wait for the moon and then perform the puja? Now, there are those puja which are the Surya puja, related to Surya, the sun. So, you give the morning arg to the sun and you perform the puja. And there are those that are associated with night. Ganesh puja is such a puja that is associated with Ratri, the night, the moon. They are associated with the deity of the moon. Therefore, it is the moon that you have to wait for that time. And the best time for offering is when the moon would come out, make the offering, and then you do your puja, your bhakti to Ganapati Devta. So this is one. But there is something more than that associated with the moon. And when Ganesh Baba, after, remember I told you a little while ago, in the beginning was the word, and the word was the energy, from that word came the energy of light, and Brahma, and Vishnu, and all these deities came from that energy of light. Well, after Brahmaji, he had to do tapasya. Vishnu had to do tapasya. Shankarji also had to do tapasya. So Brahmaji was told, your duty is to put things together to make this world beautiful. He said, well, I would like to do this without any errors. So he began to pray to Ganeshji, seeking the help that I must be able to do this without any errors. After Ganapati Devta came and gave him the Ashirbad, however you would like to do, your mind will be satisfied. So I bless you that you will be successful. So then he began to move towards the region of the sky. And when he reached in the mandir of Chandrama, his foot slipped and he fell. Chandrama began to laugh. So when Chandrama began to laugh, Ganapati became very angry at his behavior and said, Chandrama, when somebody is in trouble, you laugh at them. Instead of lending a helping hand, you laugh. This is not good. Not because you are very handsome and good looking, you laugh at somebody else. So you must be taught a lesson. So from today, you will not be worthy to be seen by anyone. Anyone who sees you, they will face with some kind of difficulty. So now all the devotees had to get together to go and they could not look at Chandrama. They had to tell to Chandrama, the only way for you to escape this, you beg Sri Ganeshji and he will help you. If you do not go and do that, you will be in trouble and the world will be in trouble. So when the king do stupid things, the entire nation suffer. And this is what you being that one who has act like this, you will suffer together with the nation will suffer. Therefore, Chandrama, do bhakti to Ganeshji, he will be pleased and he will give you the answer. So then, in the month of Margashish, the mantra Om Ganapati Namaha. In the month of Paush, Om Binayakaya Namaha. In the month of Mag, Gajabakraya Namaha. In the month of Palgun, Bhalachandraya Namaha. In the month of, of Chait, Upendraya Namaha. In the month of Vaishak, Bigna Binashaya Namaha. In the month of Jesht, Shiva Sutaya Namaha. In the month of Ashad, Hari Nandanaya Namaha. In the month of Sravan, Hirambhaya Namaha. In the month of Bhadra, Bhadrapad, Lambodaraya Namaha. In the month of Ashwan, Karti Bijaya Namaha. And in the month of Kartik, Mahabiriyaya Namaha. So these are the 12 months of the year and the 12 names which should be chanted in each one in each of the months. So, these mantras were given to Chandrama to do the bhakti to Sri Ganeshji. 
and a special stout to ward out difficulties. Om Gam Ganapataye Namo Nama Siddhi Vinayak Namo Nama Ashta Vinayak Namo Nama Ganapati Bapta Moriya Om Gam Ganapataye Namo Nama Siddhi Vinayak Namo Nama Ashta Vinayak Namo Nama Ganapati Bapta Kantamanantakam Mokdam Ganapataye Namo Nama Siddhi Vinayak Namo Nama Ashta Vinayak Namo Nama Ganapati Bappa Moriya Om Gam Ganapataye Namo Nama Siddhi Vinayak Namo Nama Ashta Vinayak Namo Nama Ganapati Bappa says this sutra if a person would chant it every day in the morning jo manush prat kal is tot ka paat karta hai uske samne kisi prakar ki bigan upasthit nahi hoti no form of difficulty would come your way if you would chant this particular sutra every morning so so special it is so this was given to chandrava chandrava chanted this sutra did the puja of sri ganesh bhagwan bhagwan ganesh ji came in a shishu shishu means a small form like a baby and give darshan to chandrava chandrava now seeing this form of sri ganesh ji bowed to him and began to beg pardon that bhagwan please forgive me i act in a wrong way and i'm begging your pardon i want that all that i'm asking that i should be able to be seen by everyone he said well i will help you but because i'm pleased with your prayer my words cannot fall short anyone who sees you on the fourth day after the moon in bright night they will surely face with difficulty but those who do my puja every month in the month of uh, every month in the fourth astrological day in dark night they will be warded out from that difficulty but so that the first word will not fall short if you see me in the month of bhadu you will have one year of difficulties in order to ward off that again you must do my bhakti and in this way you are going to overcome those difficulties and here shiv ji now is telling to ma girija that o girija in the month 
which is bhadu you take the tarui flowers and you mix with ghee and offer with the name of sri ganesh ji in the month of bhadu and you will get three birds of sins to cut away and you will be blessed with success of sun in the month of ashwan you get do pariya flowers and you perform the puja and difficulties from the family will not come in that you do not lose your family sri krishna perform this puja in the month of ashwan in the dark fourth night on the fourth day that is in pitpaksh the fourth day in pitpaksh is known as ganesh chauth brat and the puja is done in the same manner in each month and it is said on that day sri krishna performed the puja because his grandson was kidnapped and in order to get back his grandson he performed the puja to lord ganesh on that day to get his grandson in the month of kartik now many of the mothers and sisters just have little problems you know after they get the dulha first he very nice and thing and then he start to create janjat so to straighten him out urdi dal and ghee use and do havan you get him straightened out ganesh baba go straighten him up and any difficulties if you have been problems with the children or anything like that this puja in the month of kartik it's called karwa chaut brat karwa chaut brat is a very special fast for the mothers in particular and if you are a young man and you want to get a good bride there is a very special mantra patni manur mang dehi manu britta nusarini tarini durga sansar sagarasya kulod bhavan you will get a bride of such who will stay with you all to the end of your time and who will give you support and also lift the lineage to which you belong and help you to be strong in all your efforts that you do the month of shravan is also a very special month like that in which the mothers pray and ask for the longevity of their beloved and they perform the mangala gauri brat in the month of shravan also in the month which is known as margashish the bhatkaiya you know there is a leaf it looks like the baigan or the eggplant um leaf both sides has thorns and there is a little berry in it that is called bhatkaiya so that is used the flowers of it is used and mixed with ghee and you gain the blessings of sons in the family in the month of poush bamboo leaves are used and sometimes you have difficult work in which you are not getting through it the bamboo leaves and the ghee mixed together you are able to overcome those difficulties and gain happiness in the month of mag the salt from the sam um sambar lake is used and then you gain again any difficulty any difficult type of work that you want to gain success in that will be able to bring you success and happiness in the month of phalgun the rock salt from the patna lake is used and the amaltas flowers leaf is used and you perform puja and that if a young lady does the puja like that to lord ganesh she can be able to have a beloved that will make her feel like a queen every day and in in the month of chait you take the seed of the lemon and ghee mixed together and you do havan you gain the blessings of great sons in the family in the month of vaishak mustard flowers is used and you gain siddhis by doing the puja with that in the month of jesh the sevati flowers is used and the rui flowers is also used with ghee and you gain the blessings of intelligence in the month of ashad the lotus flower is used and you gain the blessings of mukti in the month of shravan you use the cactus flowers sehurwa ke phool and 
all difficulties can be warded out and you can be able to gain success and favors from high authorities. So <laughs> these are some of the formulas that you have that you can use for attaining success. Also, in the Mahapuran of Devi Puran, in the books of the Sanskar, in the Garud Puran, in the Vishnu Puran, it tells us that if the union between the mother and father takes place in the cycle of the lady when it is in the early stage of the cycle is over, the life of the child is very short. Also, the fifth and sixth day will give you short people in the family. The seventh day will give you the success of children in the family, but they may not have children. The eighth day you will get a son, he will be lord or prosperous person, but he have time with anybody else but money. The ninth day will give you success of a daughter. The tenth day will give you success of a son. The eleventh day will give you the success of a daughter, but with loose kind of qualities. The twelfth day will give you the success of a son, but he don't like to have his own bride. He only wants everybody else's bride. The, the thirteenth day will give you the success of a girl child, and that girl child also has to be well disciplined, otherwise she will have very loose kind of qualities. The 14th, 15th, and 16th days will give you the best of the children. 14 will give you children who will do things and lift themselves and help the family. And the 15th will give you the success of a girl child. Wherever she goes, she brings happiness. The 16th will give you the success of a well-restrained and mind person as a son who will lift the name of the family and lift the name of the generation to which he comes in. And wherever, whichever generation he joins, that is his wife's side too, will also be honored by having such a person. So, the scriptures give us these kind of jewels, only they never unfold properly and been given to us to understand, except if you learn well, you read well, you understand it, then you can dig into it and find these jewels that are hidden there to gain the best of the success. Because as a Sanatan Hindu, we have the privilege to bring to the world what we want to have best. You are known as the Devutas, you have come from the Devutas, and being the deities that has come from the Devutas, you can bring the good characters in the world. Those who don't want to, they will bring any kind of character. But you are the one who has the privilege in your hand and the books of the scriptures to guide us, just like how when the engineer prepared an engine, he gave a manual and he said that, oh mankind, you want to enjoy the benefit of this engine? Follow this manual. In the same way, when God created man, he gave to him the manual of the books of the scriptures. And in that, he gave him the choice where he can be able to gain the best of the benefits by taking these jewels from the books of the scriptures and making, enhancing ourselves and making it look better. So, here, this is the privilege that we have. This is why I say the katha must make us better beings. It must make us better than we were and help to improve us and help our world to become better because it has some message that is important there for us which we should understand, learn and try to cherish. And if you didn't get it in your time, pass it on for others too that your generations in future, because Krishna says in the past you were here, you are here now and when you're coming back, Make sure you get something good. If you put something good, you will get it good. If you didn't put it good, you can't get it good. So, Ma Parvati listened to all this. She performed the puja. When she completed the 12 months of breath and puja, when she completed 12 months of breath and puja, now she wanted to conclude, so she did like a Maha Utsav. 
So all the devotees, everyone were invited, the rishis and the munis. And when it was finished, and now time to serve food for everybody, Shivji says, Parvati, make sure that everybody is happy and enjoy and full, filled with food and everything. So she went and did all her duties. Brihaspati was the chief priest. He performed the puja and everything. And all these guests were fed. So now, before she broke the fast, she went to Brihaspati and said, Can I give food to Shivji and then break the fast? He said, yes, but first check in and see that nobody else is missing. Then all on a sudden, as she prepared the seat for Shiva Bhagavan and was about to serve the food, a voice came saying that, O oh, Girija, for seven days and seven nights I had nothing to eat. Please give me some food to eat and something to drink. And then it was the voice of that form of Ganesh Baba that came and was saying to her that I am very hungry and I am very thirsty. Please give to me something to eat and something to drink. And how did he come? Danda hot liye mail kuchele Dukhiya bhish ganapati banay So now, after she prepared and she was, this is the time this voice came saying, I'm very hungry, very thirsty. It was a person in a white colored beard, all dressed in white and looking very feeble and weak, holding danda in his hand. And although the clothes was white, it was a little stain up here and there and ugly looking colored teeth. And he is saying, I'm very hungry and very thirsty. Please give me something to eat, O oh mother. So Mahagirija went quickly and bring him in, washed his feet and praised herself that I'm very fortunate. This guest has come today and my puja has now become fulfilled. She washed his feet, put a seat for him and she placed the food for him. As he did arpan for the food, offered the food and then he began to taste and he said, Ma, I ate food every place before. But you know, nobody food tastes so sweet as your food because you have put all your love into it and you have prepared. And fast as she was putting, he was eating. In no time, the whole katra of laddu, katra is like a big tree, round, all disappeared. And then all on a sudden, he too disappeared. So now, when she began to look, where is the Brahman gone? He was here just now, and I'm not seeing him anymore. Shiva Baba also be came and began to look. And then an atmospheric voice came saying that, O oh, Girija, the Omkar which was in the beginning came to you as that old man just now. That is the Ganapati who was there in the beginning. He was the word which was in the beginning and from which all beings came, everything came. O Girija, go in the room in which you were resting. You see there is a child there. That is your Ganapati. And what is she saying? Agaya manka mura he gananayak Agaya manka mura गन नायक जीवन का फल को पाया सुंदर ये बालक जीवन का फल को पाया सुंदर ये बालक 
आ गया मन का मोरा हे गन नायक आ गया मन का मोरा हे गन नायक जीवन का फल को पाया सुंदर ये बालक आ गया मन का मोरा हे गन नायक आ गया मन का मोरा हे गन नायक बोलो श्री गजानंद स्वामी की जय सो इन दिस वे शी took up this child and milk began to come to her bosom and she fed this child after the child drank the milk imagine shiv baba came kissed the hands and feet and blessed the child that he gave the blessing different type of blessings for longevity and everything and in this way this was the first coming of ganapati devta to Shiv and Parvati Ma. There are many other katha, but remember, it's 29 different version you are going to hear like that because it's 29 cycle of Sadhguru Teta Dwapar and Kaljug is coming soon, and you are going to hear different version of this katha. But this is how it is according to the Shiv Puran and the Ganesh Puran. This is how the katha is. so there are other versions to in different era but here it is where shu baba himself bless ganesh ji and so the celebration of the coming of ganapati took place bolo sri gajanand swami ki jai uma pati mahadev ki jai pavan putra hanuman ki jai siyavar ramchand ki jai now to my right and left i have two very special baba So I'll ask them to say a few words, and then we shall go on to Al Baba is doing how on. So one more time, please, Sri Gana Bhatti Gani Shiva Gawani Ki Jai. Sab ko Bhagwan ki pranam karta hu. Hari Om. Namo Namo Gana Bhatti Vesha Vo Namo Namo Brati Vyo Brata Bhatti Vesha Vo Namo Namo. गृत्सेव्यो गृत्सपतिव्यशवो नमो नमो विरूपे व्यावे व्यशवो नमो नम नमस्तुते व्यास विशाल बुद्धे पुलादे तपत्र नेत्र तैल पूर्ण प्रज्वाल ज्ञानमय प्रदीप ओम नमो ब्रह्म देवाय गो ब्राह्मणताय चगदेताय कृष्णाय गोविंदय नमो नमो गणपति गणेश भगवान की जय शरण इवनिंग रेवरंट अनमोस सीनियर पंडित परशुराम महाराज जी ऑन हिज लेफ्ट ऑफ कॉस वन हू नीड्स नो इंट्रोडक्शन एंड I have to describe himself and me as the Upavyas, because Pandit Ji is, of course, Vyas. He is senior to us, Pandit Abhiranam Prasad Sharma Ji. Our younger Pandit Suwa here, young Pandit Vishal, Gosain Baba, who is here with us this evening, young Pandit Pratish, who performs our final Havan. Respected elders, most respected, Pandit Devki, the father of Pandit Abhiranam Prasad. Pandit Narayan ji who is also here with us most respected famed for chanting of their beautiful sanskrit sloks Pandit Kevat Pandit Suraj Pandit Krishna who is seated to the back and here with us this evening Baba ji special welcome the hosting family members of the Rupnayan family the elders who are here Yagyakarta Pablo and uh, Chandra ji and uh, his parents shri ram dev rupnayan ji and dharam patni who are here with us this evening members of uh, our distinguished group of media who are here this evening ramesh and shirley from sankhya television you the many devotees what can be said of course my father once taught me once the vyas reads there is nothing else to say what i can say of course is that many blessings to the family 
I consider myself to be extremely fortunate to be in the company of such noble souls. When I look on the couch and I saw Pandit Narayan and Pandit Devaki, I thought to myself that Pandit Abhir and I and I are really blessed because we are seated on seats that are higher than they are and they are the ones who really deserve this honor. So I want to say, of course, many, many blessings to the home and the family, Pandit Devaki Narayan, who is also here with us. What I can tell this family is, until you do not have enough merit to warrant this and to warrant such noble and holy souls in your home and family, it will never happen. Many, many families will entertain this type of blessing and they would want to do it. But Bina Hari Kripa say, Bhagavan is called Sarva Purnai Ka Phal Devta Hai. Until Ganesh does not grant that type of inner blessing, that is called Icha, it cannot happen. And more so to have such noble souls present. To have these exalted Brahmins seated here, just to have their feet touch your place, one is considered to be blessed. So the family has truly done something great. And to the younger members of the family, as Sharda mentioned earlier, Indeed, you have a tremendous task and a responsibility upon your shoulders. Your grandfather is here, his son is here, and pretty soon the other sons of the family and the daughters of the family will be here. So I want to say, of course, Babaji, to you, it has been our distinguished, my distinguished pleasure to listen to the beautiful verses of this Reganesh Puran from your lips and to the members of the family. May Bhagwan bless you tremendously. I hope that you do, of course, realize the great fortune that you have to be afforded such a wonderful privilege. With these few words, may Bhagwan bless each and every one of you. Ek baat bol is regana pati Ganesha Bhagwan ki jai. Prem se bolye gajanand swami ki jai, uma pati mahadev ki jai. Let me join with our beloved Vyashi and Pandit Navin in bowing to each and every one of you and of course extending Bhagwan's grace and blessing, all protocols observed in saving time. And indeed, tonight our uh, discourse was so wonderful coming from the golden lips of our Vyashi. And it's so amazing, you know, so many different points Panditji touched on. And while listening, it relates to every aspect of our lives. That is the amazing thing. It relates to every aspect of our lives. And there are certain things in Hinduism, every day, if we practice our spirituality, my friends, we would be living in a much better place in this world. And not only that, we will be in a better place with ourselves. Our scriptures have something for us to practice religiously every day in order to maintain harmony and peace in all aspects of our lives. And it's so sad to see how society today is deteriorating. Families are deteriorating. Uh, individuals are deteriorating in their morals and values and it's so sad to see the wealth of knowledge as Paniji quoted from our Vedas in the beginning was the word and that word was Om and when you go to the Holy Bible the same thing is echoed in the book of St. John in the book of St. John when it is said in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and then the 14th verse in the Holy Bible says and the word became God the word became flesh. You see, it's not about which religion is greater or which religion is uh, superior. It's nothing about that. It's about in the beginning was the word and in Sanatan Dharma that word is Om. And my friends, when we practice spirituality, there is nothing in this life that cannot be fulfilled. There is no desire in this life that cannot be fulfilled. And the greatest desire that every one of us have is to have peace. Isn't it? Ultimately, Bhagwan Ganesh removes all obstacles. For what purpose? For peace, for happiness, to progress. 
And there are so many people in this world who have achieved everything in life that money could buy, but they have no peace. And there are some people who have nothing in this world, materially, but they have peace inside. And I think tonight, I wish that we all can have that. We, we have success in the outside world and success and peace in the inside world. I joined with Pandit Navinji and uh, our beloved Vyasji, Shri Pandit Parashramji, uh, in expressing Bhagwan Ganesh, blessing to each and every one of us. And I saw both of them have no glasses, so I take out mine. <laughs> Pandit was reading without glasses tonight. So I was feeling bad, so I put mine down. Baba, God bless you, and I touch your feet. You know, when you want to look, when you want to see divinity, and you look at Pandit Parashamji, you see glimpses of divinity. Very humble, very noble, very pious soul. And Baba, I want to tell you, we don't keep in contact much, but certainly you are an ideal in the lives of all of us as younger pundits. And we want to thank you so very much for your blessing and so very much for your love and guidance. I hand over to you, Om Shanti. Bully Premise Sri Ganesh Bhagavan Ki Jai. Bhaiya, you may stand for the final offering, please. Om Purnamida Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Purnagum Shanti Swaha Water Ashman Om Sarva Papa Haram Dibyam Gangayam Nirmalam Jalam Achmanyam Ayadittam Grihana Parameshwara Om Banaspati Rasur Bhuti Gannan Dibyo Ganda Uttamam Kargya Sar Devanam Dhupuyam Pratiyartam Pass your hand over this mouth, pass it over your body. Om Shari Rarogya Artamcha Puttapauta Dikantatha Pradasyamuna Sandeo Banchit Phalam Labhet On behalf of the family together and my two babas, I want to say thank you all for coming. Those who are listening through the airways, God bless you too. And at this time, we are ready for RT.
Blessings to all of you for helping us to reach to the world at large. And to the Babas who have accompanied me both on my right and left, I have to say it's a blessing to be able to sit with you because I feel blessed in sitting in your company. You are telling me that you are blessed in sitting in my company, but I feel blessed in sitting in your company because you are like the beauty of Bhagawan and when you are like the beauty of Bhagavan, it is surely a blessing to be able to be here and in your company. God bless you all. And then Seema has a few words to say. So you may take your seat, Bhaiya. And Seema, this is... Sitaram, on behalf of the Ramdeo and Rupnarayan family, I would like to thank each and every one of you for making the time and effort in joining us for prayers tonight. Many thanks to our officiating Pandit, Pandit Parasram of Avocat Village, Faisabad, Pandit Abedanan Sharma of Duncan Village, San Fernando, and Pandit Navin Umadat Maraj of Shagwanas. Special thanks to Pandit Vishal of Shagwanas. Of course, we extend our thanks to all the other Pandits and Kirtan groups, specially invited guests, devotees both present with us and as well as those viewing and listening through various media. Once again, thank you and reach home safely. Sitaram. Sankhya Television is not only the first Hindu TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, but Sankhya TV also has the most coverage. You can find Sankhya TV on Facebook by searching for Sankhya Television. There you can view Sankhya TV Facebook Lives, for all exclusive programming 